What's up guys, welcome back to this channel, Stevie J is here and in this video we're going to talk about Kevin Mayer who is the current world record holder in the decathlon with over 9100 points. Um, super diverse athlete, extremely fast, nice in the shots and also pretty good jumper. So um, yeah, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to analyze the hurdles race, an uh, indoor hurdles race over the 60 meter hurdles where he is just running an incredible time. And we're also going to watch over a long jump approach where he's jumping over 750. We're going to analyze what makes him so good, why he's that fast. And yeah, let's jump into the video. Let's go. All right, guys, as you guys know, we usually concentrate more on the technical aspects of the athletes here on this um, channel. Of course, there are different, um, yeah, different reasons why athletes are becoming that good. It's of course because of their technical abilities. It's how and like and what kind um, they're practicing. And um, yeah, it's also their mental abilities. But in this video, I would like to talk about Kevin Mayer's technical aspects in the hurdles and as well as in the long jump. So let's jump into the hurdles video actually first. Um, as you guys can see, it's a 16 meter hurdles race. The, um, six lanes, he's in lane three, exactly here. Um, I would say let's watch through the whole video once, um, just on the normal speed, and then, yeah, we're gonna analyze it. Let's go. Yeah, and he finishes this race with a time of a 7.79, <laughs> which is just ridiculous. Um, it's extremely nice. I mean, I think at the German Championships, you would probably become a German champion with that. I'm not sure, but you would be like by far in the finals and you would probably definitely be on the, on the rankings, like under the first three. So let's see what he's doing. Let's see how many steps he actually takes to the first hurdle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps to the first hurdle. That's pretty nice as a multi if you're able to do that. So that um, shows me already that he has a super power, powerful start. I mean, you are just able to do seven steps. I personally do eight steps. I also never tried to do the seven steps. I might be able in the future, um, but as of now, I definitely won't change that. All right, so coming into the first hurdle, just a nice start. Um, already after the second or after the third step he's already watching where is the first hurdle he's attacking it he's aggressive he's tall he's confident it's just an amazing athlete <laughs> as you can just see in the start already and already now he's going into the first hurdle so what do we see a lot of leaning forward like he is leaning forward on his lead leg and he's kind of laying like this and I also see that his arm is bended actually his um, yeah his lead arm I would call it like um, the arm that is like on the opposite side of the lead leg which is comes forward I usually like personally when I practice I like it more when my arm is like long instead of bended because then I can like reach over the hurdle and then come back quickly um, he's doing it in a different way and it seems to work however his um, hip flexibility might be very very good um, so maybe he can compensate it with that um, yeah lead leg is coming quickly to the ground and then the trail leg is just coming nice and smooth as you guys can see here like the trail leg is coming just under the trail arm like uh, the, the second arm of which that's that's not really the trail arm it's more like the lead arm is becoming the trail arm is just coming back and um, yeah, and then the trail leg comes forward and just like comes all the way forward and then right here he's like get, putting it down so he's when, the more forward you get the trail leg the more space like you are actually like reaching in and um, or the more space you basically create and then yeah you're gonna be faster as you guys can see he's already first after the first hurdle just because he got the best technique from probably all of them and he's also super fast and aggressive starter yeah, let's see what he's doing here. Arms are really nice and tight on the body. Accelerating in the three steps, coming into the next hurdle, leaning forward, lead leg coming quickly to the ground as well as this arm. Usually in the hurdles it's like this, when your arms, like your arms mirror, that's what our coach says here at Queen's University um, of Charlotte. Um, our coach always says like your legs mirror your arms. So 
you want to be fast with your arms and then you're going to be fast with your legs as well so if you guys see right in this position he is pulling his arm down do you see it as its arm goes down right in this position the arm goes down and the lead leg follows and then there's a lot of space and room for the trail leg and he can reach into it again it's, it's not really reaching of course it's not like he thinks like i have to reach but it's like bringing the trail leg all the way forward and then you step down because then you take most of the space and um, you don't want to waste any any space because this is at the end time yeah coming into the third hurdle leaning forward lead arm it's just a really nice technique accelerating creating speed and momentum in between the hurdles and then just confident into the hurdle without any like any fear just just smashing it yeah nice and then then you'll be able to run a 779 let's watch on another perspective um in the hurdles race i got a pretty nice perspective where you guys can see it really nicely what he's doing <clears throat> let's see when he's coming into the first hurdle his tongue is of course out as always Rest. Do, do you guys see how he is like leaning forward of course you it, it would be nicer when you see it like from the side perspective I'm gonna cut it in now um, but he is leaning forward his left arm is actually all the way to the back um, um, it's interesting to see because Grant Holloway is doing a different technique he is bringing both arms forward like at the um, lead arm I don't know if this is the correct term but I mean that arm is for me the lead arm and um, the other arm is for Grant Holloway. He's coming um, forward as well. And Kevin Mayer does have a different technique in this case. Um, but as you as you guys can see, his arms are tight on his body. Like this arm is just going back and then it's just coming forward again. We can see it slowly again, coming back and then just coming forward. There is no like rotational or spinning movements or whatever. It's just like back and forward. You don't want to create any force like to the sides. And let's see what the lead arm is doing. It's coming here and here. Do, do you guys see that it's coming forward? And here he's already like, he, he's not even like over the hurdle. Like basically just his shoe is over the hurdle or is like passing the hurdle already. And he's already pulling um, down with his lead arm. And then the trail leg just comes forward. And do you, do, do you guys see how far he gets his trail leg? All the way to the front all the way to the front otherwise you can you won't be able to run that fast coming into the hurdle and down it's so nice it's so nice and there's no spinning there's no rotational movement it's just beautiful technique and very aggressive and very fast and especially like having um, this great of a technique and a 100% intensity is it's amazing it's that's nice to see, it's so nice to see. Here he got a, a small contact on this hurdle actually, on the fourth hurdle. Um, I don't know, it's probably his hamstring from the lead. Yeah, it's the hamstring from the lead leg. So that's actually, that doesn't matter at all. Like we won't lose any time. That's actually just an indicator um, for that he is bringing the lead leg fast to the ground. Yeah, and then he's just finishing the race. All right, let's jump into the long jump approach. Or his long jump attempt. That's nice. That's just, I don't know, stuff like that just makes me happy. <laughs> All right. Um, in the beginning, you don't really see much. He's just dribbling in on his mark to just create a little bit of momentum, as you guys can see, like here, just like some smaller steps to, yeah, don't to, to not make a like a still standing start some athletes um like to do it some don't it doesn't really matter it's, i think it's like individually um how it fits for you and for every athlete but now big first steps as you guys can see big pushy first steps to come to create the momentum and to like let stuff like let it roll and just push in the beginning and like you i mean you want to create momentum in the beginning and that you can afterwards don't need to put as much effort inside that you can concentrate more on your last steps that they're actually frequent and as you guys can see here his last steps when you compare these kinds of steps yeah long and reachy 
but of course creating still momentum but it's like longer and reachy and now he's like making his steps shorter why because you want to hold the momentum but you want to hit with your last step the body center like you want to hit the center of mass and as you guys can see he's actually using his leg mm, more as a lever it's basically almost the same as in long, uh, as in high jump that you want to lose your leg uh, use your leg as a lever he's doing that here as well but of course you're gonna have more speed and then he's like doing a running it's a, it's a running jump in german we would say it's a running jump um where you are basically doing another step inside of the air but it's it doesn't matter actually what he's doing in the air especially important uh, that when you're coming from the mid which is probably here that you're doing short steps it almost feels like dribbling and he's doing a great job here in this in this attempt where he just like hits his its center of mass perfectly and then you guys see how it just like 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 just basically catapults him in the air like look how high he is how much time he has to just bring his legs forward and then he's just flying just flying really nice let's jump into another video yeah it should be this one as a slow motion video that you guys can see um, what I mean with the last steps do you see the last step how active and forward it is but it is not really jumping it's not like you don't try to like jump up you use your leg just as a lever you want to take the momentum you build it up in the in the runway already and then you just put your leg on the ground don't bend it too much as you guys can see here the leg is not bending it's, it's bending a little bit of course because there's a lot of energy coming in but the less you bend it the more energy you're gonna like bring or the more energy you're gonna take into the jump and don't like waste it basically into the board yeah um, let's see the slow motion again that you guys can see the last jump again uh, the last step It's like a short and active like second last step it's like a like a it's almost like a javelin like cross step like just like pulling yourself over this and then you want to set it up and just bring the the leg down use it as a lever and it's gonna catapult catapultite you in the air it's gonna raise you in the air I, <laughs> probably the wrong term again <laughs> Um, yeah, guys, if you sometimes don't really understand what I try to say, please, please just write it in the comments. Um, I'm still having issues like explaining this stuff in English. However, I hope you guys can like take um, some clues and understand the events a little bit better when we are going over them and when we are analyzing them. And yeah, what Kevin Mayer is doing here in this competition and just in general is just amazing. It's a great idol and um, an amazing athlete. And yeah. If you like the video, leave a like, leave some feedback and you subscribe to the channel if you want to have more content like that. And yeah, we're going to see us in the next video. Bye bye.